what is up guys in this video we're going to be having a look at fetch ai can this 10x 30x 40x even 100x in the next bull cycle if you guys like these videos don't forget to smash that subscribe button leave a like turn those notification bells on so you guys never miss a video so having a look at fetch ai can this make you filthy rich in the next bull market a lot of people are calling this a scam a lot of people are calling this the future now we know ai has been skyrocketing in 2023 already we know ai is going to be big now we can see fetch ai is not only ai it's in the cosmos ecosystem it's ai big data collectible and nfts and internet of things iot Fetch AI is currently traded at 40 cents with a mark cap of $328 million right here and the volume of $96 million. So we can see the volume to mark cap ratio is currently sitting at 30%, even though the volume is down 60%. So 30% of the mark cap is being traded, which is fairly high. Ranked 120, 180,000 people on the watch list. A lot of people are calling this a scam. I don't think so. Fetch AI announced a fresh founding at $250 million valuation. Now, of course, this is old news. This happened at the beginning of april and of march okay so this is exactly what's happening 250 million dollar is a quarter billion dollar to essentially fund a project and essentially keep going and keep growing the mark cap is sitting at 328 billion a 10x from here would bring fetch ai fet to a mark cap of three billion dollars and of course 20x six billion and on and on and on 100x would bring fetch ai to a mark cap of 32 billion dollars we know how high ai can go let's have a look at a technical analysis real quick to see where fpt can go before that actually let's have a look at the mark cap all-time high we could see that fpt actually had a 700 million dollar mark cap in the past okay now that's only 2x from here that's not crazy right it could definitely go back there if we have a look at the trading view we can see that in this area a lot of people thought that fetch was dead kind of crashed consolidated and then essentially pumped again so we're recovering right now and kind of entering a sort of an inverse head and shoulder type of thing right now i don't know if that's really accurate i don't know if this can be uh considered an inverse head and shoulder but we know an inverse head and shoulder essentially is when you have two tops right which makes a left shoulder starts by a bottom which is usually something like that i don't know why it's seen i don't know if this would really be considered one and then followed by a right shoulder and it seems like the right shoulder right now is completing if i take the top of the neckline to the bottom of where it started and you extend that boom that would give us a price of 92 cents which is close to one dollar now we can see fetch is currently sitting at 40 cents assuming that we break out of here we should be having a nice little move now we all we're also did break a nice little weekly downtrend okay so this is the weekly downtrend ever since we had that crazy crazy pump and when i mean crazy pump guys we really really exploded i mean 879 percent in matter of weeks two months maybe that is a lot of money that's 8x especially in a bear market and uh right now we're just consolidating entering this nice little bull flag right here so can we see fetch ai really really explode because if i take this to the top and i extend that this should be essentially our breakout sorry the breakout would be right here this should essentially be our target sitting at 79 cents now of course it's not going to be 8x 110 percent, but that's of course still very 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 good that's that on the weekly time frame let's have a look at the daily time frame real quick we can see that on the daily time frame we also did break this downtrend on daily time frame right here and we're currently pumping to the upside we also did hold this support region very very well and now we're retesting this resistance right here so we did have a lot of conflict right here this was support 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 we had some conflict right here and now we're retesting this area right here so a break above this very important support line would essentially be positive and would most likely bring fetch ai to 46 cents but as of right now we're going to need to see if we can close above that uh resistance right here on the daily time frame and of course if we could close above uh this trend line right here on the weekly time frame now keep in mind that the weekly time frame does end in 11 hours so i think it's gonna happen i think we're gonna close above the downtrend we have to make a nice little close candle now now it really depends how you really draw your lines i know a lot of people will draw their lines like this which is i do it like that sometimes and of course people can do it really you know stick to the body which is like that now if we really stick to the body on the weekly time frame fetch ai still did not break out technically okay so we're still in this bull flag and we're going to need to break out essentially and i'm not saying have a wig but we're going to need to essentially break out out of here in order to have that confirmation because if we just have wicks right here these are false breakouts we saw it multiple times right here where we had false breakouts and of course the downside too right the weekly everyone thought this was going to be bearish boom came back up 
and essentially re-enter that channel and now we're exactly happening and exactly doing the same thing on the weekly time frame this week in 11 hours and two seconds now of course we're gonna have to see what bitcoin does if bitcoin pump we're most likely gonna see fetch pumping usually the last four or five hours of the weekly candle that's usually when we see a lot of volume so because the futures uh cme charts are usually open so we're gonna have to see what happens around then bitcoin overall is looking okay it's not really doing much i mean if we have a look on the daily time frame it's just consolidating it's been a very quiet weekend for bitcoin overall just very very slow consolidating and that's about it usually when we have this uh pattern right here we usually come back to the downside it's usually a bart simpson pattern but we're gonna have to see overall uh, where Bitcoin go, uh, goes, in my opinion, I think we're going to continue to the upside right here. We know the trend is your friend until it bends. There's no question about that. It seems like this is a very slight and cute trend line. And that's about it. Now, of course, if Bitcoin pumps, we're most likely going to see fetch pumping. If Bitcoin dumps, we're most likely going to see fetch dumping. Now, right here, FET is had a nice little pump right here of 25%, guys, in a matter of a couple of days. Okay, so two three days we had a 25 percent pump and of course after a crazy pump like that we're usually going to consolidate and that's about it it seems like right here we do and are holding this nice little support region right here if i draw this line and that's about it we're going to see if we can essentially break this neckline at 42 cents if we can break that that's going to be very very good for fet and if you guys like these videos of course don't forget to smash that subscribe button leave a like and i will see you guys in my next video i think fet can really really make you rich in the future not financial advice, always do your own research and due diligence. Peace out, guys.